This is a stick vacuum. And this is a wet dry vacuum. What would happen if instead of two devices, I wanted one? The new Roborock Dyad Pro Combo brings these two devices together in a single package. In theory, it's a perfect combination. But does this combo system really perform as well as two standalone machines? Let's go ahead and find out now. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel on YouTube. First, let's talk through what the Diet Pro Combo does best. It's a one-stop shop for a vacuum and mop cleaning system that can fill a wide variety of cleaning needs with its attachments. In addition, it connects to the Roborock app that gives real-time system health information about the status and condition of your device. Lastly, it has a large clean and dirty water tank for extended cleaning sessions, meaning you'll spend less time emptying them. However, with great functionality comes great care for the connection pins. A potential major issue we found during testing was the connection points between the attachments. These connection points were exposed metal pins that could be prone to damage from repeated use. We recommend paying close attention when swapping attachments to avoid bad connections or otherwise damaging these pins. At Modern Castle, we test 19 different factors that impact the performance, build quality, and usability of the Diet Combo. On screen is a complete list of our testing categories and their performance. The Roborock Diet Pro Combo had exceptional cleaning performance between the cordless stick vacuum and the wet dry vacuum. We observed its multi roller cleaning had effortlessly capturing debris during testing. In addition, the cordless vacuum attachment offered excellent suction power to move small debris across all testing surfaces. To test the debris removal performance of the combo, we put it through a series of cleaning tests. We tested the debris removal capabilities of both the wet dry vacuum and the cordless stick vacuum. To test this, we run the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo over four different debris types on the highest suction with a single forward and single backward pass. After, we measure how much of the debris remained by weight to compare to the starting mounts and determine clean performance. For the wet dry vacuum, we only tested its debris removal capabilities of hardwood flooring. For the stick vacuum, we use three different floor types. In our hardwood test, the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo with its vacuum attachment was able to remove 85.8% .8 of debris by weight. This is 6.4% less debris than the average of 92.2% based on all of our stick vacuum tests to date. The most notable issue we saw with the debris for the stick vacuum were Cheerios. The cleaning had struggled to capture Cheerios into the roller for collection. We attribute this struggle to the low clearance and lower friction of the roller head, which pushed the cereal around the floor instead of grabbing onto it and picking it up. For the wet-dry hardwood mopping test, the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo was able to remove 98.8% .8 of the debris by weight. This is 13.3% more debris than the average of 85.5% based on all of our wet-dry vacuum tests to date. In our low pile carpet test, the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo was able to remove 86.8% .8 of debris by weight. This is 9.8% less debris than the average of 96.4% based on all of our tests to date. We saw a similar issue on the low pile carpet as we did with hardwood flooring, pushing the Cheerios around more. Of the two carpet types we tested, the Dyad Pro Combo was able to collect more debris on high pile carpet. In our high pile carpet test, the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo was able to remove 94.9% .9 of debris by weight. This is 2.4% lower than the average of 97.3% based on all of our tests to date. The Roborock Dyad Pro Combo was able to create a stronger seal with the carpet, which resulted in collecting more debris on this carpet type. Additionally, the rougher surface of the carpet allowed the cleaning head to get more on top of the cereal, thereby removing more on high pile carpet than on other floor types. To test how well the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo mops on a broad scale, we perform a full clean of our office and studio space. In our mop test, the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo showcased exceptional performance. On average, based on all of the wet dry vacuums we tested to date, we find they have excellent performance. The Roborack Dyad Pro Combo exceeded the average and outperformed our expectations. While we observed the mopping heads collect debris and dirt off the floors, we didn't truly really realize how much of it collected until it was time to empty. The level of dirt floating in the water was quite surprising, especially given how often our floors are vacuumed. 
For our stain test, we test to see how the Roborock Diet Pro Combo is able to remove a dried on stain. For this test, we stain a piece of tile flooring with grape juice, allowing it to dry. The Roborock Diet Pro Combo was able to remove our testing stain after 16 passes. However, we notice immediately the roller is going to work on the stain, removing small amounts after each pass. While most liquid spills would be mopped up right away, it's reassuring to know that the Pro Combo can handle overnight stains. For our edge cleaning test, we test to see how close the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo is able to clean walls, baseboards, and the perimeter of a room. In our edge cleaning test as a stick vacuum, the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo was able to remove 98.0% of debris by weight. This is 0.7% less debris than the average of 98.7% based on all of our stick edge cleaning tests to date. In our edge cleaning test as a wet dry mop, the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo was able to remove 98.0% of debris by weight. This is 4.6% more debris than the average of 93.4% based on all of our tests to date. Both the mopping head and vacuum cleaning head removed a significant amount of debris during the edge cleaning test. In our long hair test, the Roborock Dyad Pro Combo had 28.0% hair by weight tangled in the roller. This is 13.7% more hair tangled than the average of 14.3% based on all of our tests to date. While the vacuum did an exceptional job removing long hair from hardwood flooring, it had a high amount of hair tangled around the roller. Fortunately, removing the hair was easy and took no more than a minute or so to clear. It was easy enough to remove with my hands and additional tools were not required. In our pet hair test, the Roborock Pro Combo removed 100% by weight. This is 0.8% more pet hair removed than the average of 99.2% based on all of our tests to date. The only issue we found while vacuuming the pet hair was the small collection bin. After we had vacuumed the testing field, we noticed the bin was already full and the system sounded like it was struggling to maintain full suction with all the hair. This would result in more trips to the trash can for emptying the bin. To test the crevice cleaning capability of the Dyad Pro Combo, we use a specially built cleaning line that has three distinct crevices of varying depths. We fill the crevices with specific amounts of sugar and run the vacuum over each device on the highest suction power. In our crevice test of the cordless stick vacuum, the Dyad Pro Combo was able to remove 89.3% of debris by weight from the deepest crevice. This is 6.6% less debris than the average of 95.6% based on all of our tests to date. For our crevice test as a wet dry vacuum, the Dyad Pro Combo was able to remove 71.3% of debris by weight from the deepest crevice. This is 8.0% more debris than the average of 63.0% based on all of our wet dry mop tests to date. This test can be difficult for the wet dry mopping combo due to the depth of the crevice. However, the Pro Combo had excellent performance when compared to other wet dry mopping combos with its suction and three rolling brush rolls. For the sealed system test, we want to determine how well the entire vacuum system is sealed. Vacuums that are fully sealed ensure the dust and debris vacuum stay inside the vacuum. Vacuums that are not fully sealed may spread dust and debris around your home. To test this, we set up a fog machine and place the tube of the vacuum directly in front of the output nozzle. We then turn the vacuum on and release short bursts of smoke into the vacuum, checking how well the device is sealed. The Roborock Dyad Pro Combo was fully sealed, but had an interesting response to the sealed system test. Once we turned the vacuum attachment on and began to suction the smoke, the Dyad Pro Combo acted like there was a blockage in the filter or dustbin. It sucked in the smoke, then began to push some of the smoke back out. This did not affect our rating in the test as the system still maintained its seal. Before the test concluded, the system shut off, we believe as a safety prevention feature. The Pro Combo has an exceptional build quality to the wet dry mop and vacuum combo. The entire ecosystem of accessories for the Dyad Pro Combo is designed for a true one-stop cleaning solution. Its body is constructed from sturdy and thick plastic that, during testing, showed little signs of fragility. However, we noticed one build quality concern that would render your system inoperable if broken. These are the power connection pins between the different attachments. Some of these pins are exposed and require precise lineups when attaching different attachments. If any of these pins are damaged, it could cause operating problems. In our runtime test, the Dyad Pro Combo had a runtime of 44 minutes and 43 seconds on the lowest power mode for the wet dry vacuum, and a runtime of 47 minutes and 12 seconds on the lowest power vacuum setting. According to Roborock's website, the Dyad Pro Combo's mopping mode offers 43 minutes of runtime, and the vacuum has a 60 minute runtime. For both tests, we used the full size floor cleaning attachment head. 
In our noise test, the Diet Pro Combo generated 79.0 decibels of noise at the max wet dry mopping speed. This is 9.0 decibels louder than the average of 70.0 decibels based on all of our wet dry mop noise tests to date. As a cordless stick vacuum, the Roborock Pro Combo generated 82.9% of decibels of noise at max speed. This is 7.34 decibels louder than the average of 75.56 decibels based on all of our tests to date. Here's what it sounds like in each mode. And here's what it sounds like with self-cleaning. The Dyad Pro Combo has exceptional usability with its powerful wet-dry mop and cordless stick vacuum. Swapping between the two modes offers a wide variety of functionality for at-home cleaning. The three-head mop rolling attachment, large clean and dirty water tanks, and long runtime give the user more than enough power to mop a medium to large size home. The Diet Pro Combo comes with a multi-surface brush, motorized mini brush, crevice tool brush, and the wet dry vacuum head. The Roborock Diet Pro Combo has an estimated yearly maintenance cost of $0. The table on screen shows the major maintenance task for the Diet Pro Combo. While none of the parts in the vacuum are expected to break annually, over time you may need to replace some of the parts as needed. Since the Diet Pro Combo comes with a self-clean feature, maintenance on the wet dry system itself is pretty minimal. Just refill the clean water tank and empty the dirty water tank. That's it. The size and dimensions of the wet dry vacuum are about average when compared to other wet dry vacuums we've tested. They feature larger, clean, and dirty water tanks and a wide cleaning head. Unfortunately, the maneuverability does suffer with the size of the system. However, this is pretty common for most wet dry vacuums. So, is the Roborock Diet Pro combo right for you? It's an excellent device that functions as a one-stop shop for home cleaning. In addition, it comes with a plethora of different cleaning attachments that improve its overall capabilities. Overall, we were impressed with the performance of this device. The wet dry functionality itself is fantastic and every bit as good as any we've tested to date. While the cordless stick vacuum configuration isn't quite as good as the highest end cordless stick vacuums we've seen from Shark, Dyson, and a handful of others, it's not far off. As a two-in-one, it does a great job overall. The wet dry is fantastic, and even if the cordless stick vacuum lacks a little bit, it still gets the job done. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the vacuum, we've got a link in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at ModernCastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.